thank you all for coming along to help us um, uh, commemorate uh, Keats and Shelley uh, in this Holy of Holies. This apartment for me is uh, such a place of pilgrimage. Here I, I sort of, I feel he could pop through that door at any moment. It's a very, very powerful presence. Ode on a Grecian Urn is a sort of celebration of one of the objects he saw at the British Museum. It's been speculated just which urn he was responding to. Uh, I think it was, uh, based on other people's scholarship, um, the Buckingham vase brought by the Duke of Buckingham from Rome and displayed um, in London before being taken to his country house, Stowe from where it was bought by William Randolph Hearst and taken to his Xanadu in California, mm -hmm. San Simeon. And from there it made its way to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Uh, it's not in the best condition, it's quite fragile, but it is displayed occasionally. I've seen it and it's so stirring and you completely understand why, why Keats would use it as a, as a musing object. Ode on a Grecian Urn. Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time, sylvan historian who canst thus express a flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme, what leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape of deities or mortals or of both, in Tempe or the dales of Arcady, what men or gods are these? What maidens loath? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and timbrels? What wild ecstasy? O oh, attic shape, fair attitude, with breed of marble men and maidens overwrought with forest branches and the trodden weed. Thou silent form, does tease us out of thought, as doth eternity. Cold, pastoral. When old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain in midst of other woe than ours, a friend to man, to whom thou sayest, beauty is truth, truth, beauty. That is all ye know on earth, and all ye need to know. 